Greetings, friends, and welcome back to the Small Brain Podcast. Well, greetings, enemies, as well, because today we have a very, very special episode. I have been receiving a lot of um, blowback about one of my videos uh, based in Vietnam, where I get stopped by the police, and I surmised they wanted a bribe. Oh, stopped by the cops already. All right, here we go. Hello. Can you show the international driving license? Yes, I can. And the driver license of your country. Yes. Yeah. You have to have the international driving permit like this. Okay, I'm not from Poland, yeah. so I wouldn't have yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but here. So this is an international yeah, driver permit. International driving permit. United States of America. This is what they look like. This is correct. Hey, good luck. Thanks. <laughs> I think it's fine. <laughs> from Europe and this is from United States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Bạn Basically, I was in like this remote northern Vietnamese town um, where a lot of tourists go and they do like this big motorcycle loop. It was a gorgeous area of Vietnam. And um, all the guides told me like they kind of warned me, oh, the police are going to do checkpoints, and they're going to stop you, they're going to check all your documents, make sure you have your documents, and my documents were all correct based on everything I'd heard. All the tourists, all the tour guides, all the locals told me, everything I had was fine. So when I got stopped by the police, I was like, what's going on? Why are they stopping me? This is strange. It felt like they wanted a bribe. And uh, I made a video about it, and I don't speak Vietnamese, clearly, and um, <laughs> I make up subtitles in some of my videos. I do it a lot. I did it in Japan, did it in Vietnam, I did it in the UK, I did it in London. Where else did I do it? I do it all over the world. It's just like a comedy bit. It's not, I'm not making a political statement. I'm not trying to disrespect anyone. I don't think about that at all when I'm doing it. I just make these kind of clips for fun, to make people laugh. So the fact that 13 million people saw it on TikTok, half a million on Instagram and however many on YouTube and they all fucking hate me. Well, that's been kind of weird. That's been a little destabilizing. I'm not going to lie. Um, a, a government page in Vietnam like reposted it and they're like, oh, this American tourist is disrespecting our country and blah, 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 blah. And he's, you know, shaming Vietnam and all this stuff. And what the fuck? I just made a silly little comedy video about, I thought it was clearly fake. I thought Anyone could understand that this was not meant to be serious. I, uh, it's, I'm not making a statement about anything. I'm not picking a side politically. I'm just trying to make people laugh on the internet. So the fact that every Vietnamese person in the country and outside, I got texts from people that, um, like Vietnamese American friends, like, hey, like my family's pissed at you. I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? By the way, when I first posted the video, I had like 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. I just made it for fun. It wasn't, uh, again, I'm not picking a side. I'm not, this is, has nothing to do, this is not about politics. It's just about making idiots laugh online like me. The Literally the channel is Small Brain American. I'm not, it's not that deep, you guys. It's not that deep. Yeah, I had a lot of people like uh, very angry at me saying extremely personal things, just bullying me online basically, trying to get me to take this down because I hurt their feelings over what? Over some fucking jokes? Get over yourself. Like, wh what's wrong with you? Like, you spend too much time on the internet to begin with. You know what I mean? Vietnamese government, I can understand if they think I'm making a statement about communism. You know, and, and the, the fucking, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to go back to Vietnam. You know what I mean? I don't want to be banned from Vietnam. That's ridiculous. That would be a crazy outcome of me just making a silly, stupid video online that's obviously made with fake subtitles. It's so obvious. I don't understand what's happening or why it's happening. I'm just a, a silly American YouTuber that had 2,000 subscribers. So what the fuck? That's weird. I'm in this like beautiful jungle paradise trying to enjoy myself, and I'm like on Instagram all day. That's not good. <laughs> So yeah, it's not, um, I'm not going to stop making the subtitles. I'm not, you know what I mean? It's just, uh, that, that is what it is. I, I think it's fun. It's funny. And I make the videos for me. So if you don't like it, sorry, they're not for you. Don't watch them. Just don't watch them. <laughs> they're obviously not for you. If they're upsetting you that much, you can make the choice to discontinue watching them. So I encourage you to do that. <laughs> Whew. 
Ooh. Man. Weird. I didn't think TikTok, uh, I didn't think it was that deep. It's a children's dancing app. And I'm, the channel name is Small Brand American. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. The, um, the consequences of trying to make people laugh online. It is, uh, weird i'm really just hoping i'm not gonna get banned from vietnam i mean the fucking government reposted the video they like screenshotted my face they zoomed in on it i get people someone found my phone number online they're like we're gonna find you you know there'll be consequences like for what dude for what <laughs> i posted a silly video on a children's dancing app and now a government of a nation is after me and I don't know if I'm making it worse right now. I feel like I kind of am. <laughs> I don't know, man. But this one goes out to all my haters, all right? If you don't like my videos, close the TikTok app, all right? I'm not making a video about your government. I'm not making a video about you. All the people I met in Vietnam were lovely, very respectful, very humble, hardworking, amazing, funny people. I love Vietnam. It's one of my favorite countries. I'd say top five, if not top three. Vietnam is a fantastic country. And um, I don't want to be banned. I really liked it. I, again, please don't ban me. <laughs> but uh, I don't really know how to proceed. I don't know if I'm making it worse. I don't know whether I should talk about it or shut up. I have reporters hit me up from Vietnam. Uh, one is like an English publication in Vietnam. And then another, I think, is a local Vietnamese paper. Um, and they're like, hey, look, we need you to come, like, do an interview. Like, everyone's pissed at you. I'm like, what the fuck? Dude? I made... Similar, if not, like, identical videos in, like, the UK. Uh, where else did I do fake subs? Cambodia. I did fake subs in Cambodia. Um, Vietnam, obviously. Um, maybe India. I can't remember. But it's an artistic choice, guys, all right? I'm not... Ugh, it's weird. I even feel weird making this. This isn't like a fucking, oh, please forgive me, please let me back in. But it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to talk about it and record it. And if I'm not let back in Vietnam ever in my life, well, that'll be a damn shame. Honestly, I really liked it. Um, I feel like the current country I'm in right now is actually very similar to Vietnam. I was telling my girlfriend the other day, it's like rustic. It's undeveloped in certain areas. Um, the people are really nice and humble. The food is great. All right. I'm not making videos to intentionally piss people off. I'm making videos to make people laugh. If you don't laugh, don't watch it. All right. It's pretty much that simple. <laughs> Let's see where we're at. All right. Are we good? How long is this? Seven minutes? The internet is just such a strange place. Like, and TikTok especially just feeds off of people being pissed at you. Being pissed. When I started posting it on TikTok, I had like no views. Nobody was watching my videos. No one gave a fuck. Which is fine. You know what I mean? I don't do it for fame. I just do it because it's fun and I like to make myself laugh. And that's pretty much it. But no one was watching the videos. And then all of a sudden, this video gets 13 million views. And TikTok page is exploding. And it's over people being mad. You realize that? Like, these apps are, like, brainwashing you. Like, they're just showing you things that you'll engage with that'll piss you off. And TikTok is the worst culprit of it. Other social media platforms, they're not great either. But TikTok is, like, what, whatever they're doing over there is, like, it's fucking mind control, all right? So just don't fall for it, all right? I love Vietnam. I love Vietnamese people. The culture is amazing. I want to go back. Please don't ban me. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I got. See you next time. Bye.